agents in a shifting market, it is super, super, super important to have a few things in our pocket that we can pull out to make sure that we are getting home sold. And one of those things is understanding the script and talking with our client about pricing strategy. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in and talk about that. I'm Kim Barber with Kim Barber Group and EXP Realty, and I've helped thousands of owners and agents with real estate since 2004. So in a shifting market, it's really, really important to talk to our clients about the pricing strategy and what we're going to do to make sure that we stay ahead of the market or at the market so we can get you the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time. Okay. So that's our script. And there's three things that we want to ask in this area as well. So the first thing is taking into the client's motivation will impact the pricing strategies. So one of the great scripts that's worked for me for years and the strategies that are tried and true, and just the simple facts are there's three strategies. We're going to price it low. We're going to price it high, or we're going to price it in the middle. Okay. So let's go into that. Pricing it low means that we want to get it sold as fast as possible or just quick, right? It doesn't mean that you're going to give away the farm, but the intent is to, sell it low and hopefully get quick offers so that you can get under contract and make sure you get sold in the market that we've had historically. And even in the market right now, we just did properties, multiple offers on properties. Then the thing is, is that we're still going to have that auction like effect. So when we're talking to our clients or just in general, if we can create that auction like effect where somebody's going to jump in and be like, I have to see this home. It's an irresistible offer. Let me get in there. Okay. So that's what we want to think about. And then the other option is to price it high. Right. So when you price it high, Mr. or Mrs. Seller, do you want to just sit and see how long it's going to take? Or do you want to price it at the market value? So why would somebody price it high? It's because maybe they have a unique home, a horse farm, a custom build, luxury. These types of things might need to start here and go down. Right. But Mr. or Mrs. Seller, do you want to price here and see what the market's going to do and be on the market longer? Again, if they don't have a custom home and they don't have motivation, I cannot encourage you to do this one or price it here, right? So here is the market value based on the comps, based on what's selling, not above it and not below it, right? Mr. or Mrs. Seller, we can sit right at the market value. Then we're going to study the price every few weeks and make our adjustments as needed. So whichever one your client decides, those are the three pricing strategies that we need to be super familiar with when our clients are facing an adjusting market. So now that we have those three different pricing strategies and we have some scripts and some language on how to speak to our clients about it, do me a favor. If you have more questions, go ahead and comment below. And if you found this information valuable, give me the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notifications. This lets YouTube know that I'm providing you valuable information so that they can put me at the top and help us grow. Okay. Again, pricing is super, super, super important. So stay with it. I know you can get your home sold.